Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Allie and I am a domestic wannabe and right now I have thrown myself in to the Fly Ladies zone cleaning and committed to doing it for a full month from zone one to zone five. So we are on day four of my zone cleaning experience and I'm starting the day with a load of laundry. And I'm showing you this because as a part of Fly Lady, you are not just doing zones. You also are doing daily routines, daily habits of getting yourself to take care of your home in small increments of time that have big results. And I just thought I'd show you um, how my laundry room started on day four. And also I kept this in there because um, look how much I am struggling with these tops. I forgot to put all these bras in a lingerie bag and all the, these pads came out and I look like I've never seen them before. <laughs> Like I can't get them put back in. But why do they put these pads in there and then leave a little space for them to all fall out? I will never understand. Anyway, before I washed anymore, I went and got a lingerie bag so I wouldn't have to experience that whole fiasco again. And I wanted to show you the laundry room at the start of the day because I will be doing more than one load of laundry. If you follow Fly Lady, it's one load a day. But in the summer, our house becomes inundated with towels, so many towels. So the day before, I actually did like two or three loads of towels and I'm behind on clothes. So clothes had to be done. And I use, if, if I'm behind on things like that on a Sunday, I'm going to use it to catch up because we're, we're home. And if we are just kind of hanging around, it just makes sense to just do one or two extra loads during the day. So yes, I do do that on a Sunday, but I try not to make a habit of it. Yeah? Yeah, you want your medicine. Okay, so today is day three of zone cleaning. Well, basically day three, four. Yesterday was a Saturday and from my understanding is really the zone cleaning is for Monday through Friday. Since today is now Sunday, I am going to be jumping in and starting zone two. Um, yesterday I um, did not. We had just a fun family day because it was actually our 12 year wedding anniversary. Is I like to I like to kind of tackle things on Sunday, but also have family day. So we are going to be swimming. My husband's doing yard work. I'm going to work in the house. I'm also going to do some weeding in the garden. It's going to be really hot. So we'll swim as well. So I was about to take a shower and I was like, wait, we're going to go swimming, um, which has been a big issue for my laundry routines <laughs> because we've had so many towels as of late, like, insane amount of towels. I feel like that's all I keep washing. And we had a soccer game yesterday morning to go to and I could not find any shorts because I just wash towels all week. So um, we are, we, I am going to start zone two, which is the kitchen finally. <laughs> not that I've already started it. Um, but I'm going to also jump ahead to, I think it's zone three and do my closet. My closet needs to do its, um, winter changeover. I kind of, I thought that I would get to it in May. Um, cause I had, I started zones in May, but was, it's really a subpar job that I did, but what I got done, I, I saw results. Um, but I did not get into my closet. So in lieu of all winter long, I kept my closet actually very looking great. My closet looked great all winter long. And then thinking I was going to do my spring changeover or, you know, yeah, it's now summer, but I was going to do my winter changeover to spring and summer. And, um, since I didn't, I just started not putting things away because I was like, Oh, I'm going to be I'm gonna be cleaning this out, so I'll just shove. And now it is like a disaster. What one month of just not keeping on top of just normal daily stuff, uh, my closet's a nightmare. But I think that 15 minutes is going to really do a big wonder, because I just, well, we'll get in there. So I am going to be doing a little extra today because I could not find shorts yesterday and I had to wear jeans to a soccer game and it was in the mid 80s. I was dying. 
So we are going to work on that. Um, I also am just kind of working on maybe catching up on a few loads of laundry because I've been behind doing towels. Towels are almost caught up. <laughs> I have a load in right now and we're gonna see where that goes. And then just the daily tasks I'm going to get done and I have a grocery order um, that I'm picking up around noon and doing a little bit of meal prep for lunches. As I get the morning started, my family's starting to wake up, I'm going to probably go out and weed my garden because it's supposed to get into the 90s today and I tried doing it last night but the mosquitoes swarmed me. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I'm just watering this stuff and getting out of here. So I might run out there quick and weed that, then make breakfast and go from there. So let's get, let's get going. I've already worked out. I did both a strength and a yoga this morning. And I will tell you guys about those goals another time, but right now we're focused on zones and um, just keeping up with the fly lady routines and really building those routines back into my daily life. So let's get to it. Oh, also I should say, because yesterday was our anniversary, we went and did a really fun, we went actually to where we got married. It's my husband's idea. Um, it was right on uh, a river here in Minnesota. So we took my son out there and we had just a really fun afternoon walking by the river and we went to a place, we had this photo taken, I'll put it up. Um, and then we recreated it with my son. And, but with that being said, I got home and then I did a little work on the computer cause I'm editing these videos. And um, we did a little bit of yard work. My son jumped in the pool again for the second time yesterday and um, we watched a movie and went to bed. So nothing got touched and I'm not upset about it because yesterday was a fun, really, really fun family day. Back to it, let's get going and get this stuff done. I am so excited to finally be doing something that has been on my list of things to do for years and that is to actually have a garden in this back area of our yard that was set up for gardening. And this is the first year that I've actually followed through and gotten plants in the ground and I'm so excited about it, but it is a whole nother routine of getting out and weeding and watering and making sure I'm taking care of it. So that has been something that's been brand new for me this summer. And I also am trying to do a bit of weeding in our rock gardens. I tell you last summer, my mother-in-law weeded that garden. She actually asked, is that lawn? Or, and I was like, no, that's a rock bed. <laughs> it was so covered in weeds. And I have never seen it look so beautiful as when she weeded it. So I have a lot to uh, work up to, to be at her level of doing a nice job, but I am working on it. So after I worked for a bit, the sun got a bit too hot for me and I came in and started some of my other routines like getting the dishes in, taking my vitamins and just getting on with the day. And Okay, okay, I know I'm jumping ahead to zone four, but like I stated earlier, I really need to do my switch over from winter to summer. We had such a weird spring that it kind of worked up until now. My winter wardrobe, all those long sleeves, all those sweaters, they just aren't working for me anymore. So they need to get switched over. So one thing I wanted to show you is I did use a decluttering clothing uh, tactic of switching all the hangers backwards. When they are switched backwards, once you wear an item, then you put it the hanger the right way and when you go to do this seasonal 
clear out, you can physically see without even guessing what items you wore and what items you didn't. And it made it so easy for me to say goodbye to clothing I no longer was wearing. I also had some sweaters I was checking. I know they have some stains on them. So I was like, uh, do I get rid of them? That kind of thing. Going through right here and looking at the hangers that were still backwards, I very quickly just took the clothes off the hanger. At first I was folding things and then I stopped and just threw it all in a big pile. I was able to just say, nope, I didn't wear it. I'm not going to wear it for whatever reason. I didn't feel comfortable enough to wear it, even though I like it. So I threw it. I got rid of a huge bag of clothing and no, I'm not trying to sell that clothing online. I just got rid of it. It's in the car. It's ready to go to the donation center. It's, it's out of here. Now it was just kind of deciding a few, going over some of the other things like, you know, am I really going to wear this? Where am I going to wear this? I still have some clothes from my old job and I just, they're not really that useful for me anymore and I don't necessarily need them. So I did make some really big decisions. And then what's nice is all of these winter long sleeve things will go into a pile and next season I will just move them back turn all the hangers again and see if they get worn next season and then I can do this continue this process but look how much I took off of that of that hanging rod it's so much easier now to find clothes but the reason I wanted to do this now is I am the kind of person that if I didn't do this and I wouldn't if I would have waited two weeks I would have just gone to the store and bought in several pairs of shirts several pairs of jean shorts but instead I I now can see what I have and I have an idea of what I might need for refreshing my wardrobe for the summer instead of just going and blindly spending money, which is something I've done for years. I, I'll look at all the extra clothes I have is because I just buy things and I don't necessarily need them. So waiting two weeks just wasn't an option to do this zone. It needed to be done. And I'm very happy I did it. I found things that I didn't think I had and now I don't have to spend any extra money buying extra clothes this summer um, because I found what I needed and what I already owned. So yes, I did not work on zone two today. I worked on zone four, but in this case, it was worth it and it was necessary. And I wouldn't have realized it if I hadn't gone to that soccer game Saturday morning. So as I finished up laundry for the day, I just wanted to show what doing a few extra loads did help me accomplish in the laundry room so that I can go back to my one load a day for the rest of the week and stay caught up. Anyway, this is not a bad way to end my weekend. I hope you are enjoying this series. Tomorrow I do work in the kitchen on zone two and I hope you join me for the next video in the zone cleaning series. Thanks so much and I'll see you tomorrow.